the Chief Justice has been in the majority of all the court's major rulings this term. And maybe the most surprising for him was the decision striking down Louisiana's restricted law on abortion. The reason it was surprising is because the law was almost identical to a Texas law that the Supreme Court in 2016 had struck down. And in that case, Roberts was in dissent. He would have let the law go into effect. But in the Louisiana case, he said that they were essentially the same and that the court had to abide by precedent. And thus he joined with the court's four liberals to strike down the Louisiana law. The Chief Justice has really earned the ire of conservatives because of that decision. This case was seen as a real test for the court because this was the first abortion case that had come before the court since the addition of President Trump's two nominees, Neil Gorsuch and Brett Kavanaugh. Those who opposed abortion really hoped they were going to see something different from the Supreme Court and that they had sort of turned a corner. The Chief Justice is right in the middle of the court. That's an unusual position, actually, for a Chief Justice who just has one vote like everyone else. And it's the first time in decades that the Chief Justice has really been in this pivotal position in the court. He joined with liberals in the DACA case in which they said that the Trump administration could not end the program that protects undocumented immigrants who have been brought to this country as children. He and Justice Gorsuch, voted with the liberals to find that federal anti-discrimination laws protects gay, bisexual, and transgender workers. Most times he votes with conservatives. But in some of these key issues that get so much attention at the Supreme Court, Roberts has become a little more of a wild card. There's almost always a justice on the court who's in that sort of pivotal role. Sandra Day O'Connor played that role on the court for a very long period, and then that was followed by Justice Anthony Kennedy. When Justice Kennedy retired and was replaced by Brett Kavanaugh, who is more conservative, that shifted things over to Roberts. And so it made the court itself more conservative, but it put Roberts in that critical role. Chief Justice Roberts is very concerned about the image of the Supreme Court, the perceived independence of the Supreme Court. He says again and again that justices don't do their jobs like politicians, that there aren't Trump judges versus Obama judges. That's not exactly true, I don't think. I think studies have shown that the president who nominates judges, that has a lot to do with how those judges do, and that makes sense. They're nominated because of their ideology. But what Roberts is trying to say about the court is, we don't consider ourselves politicians. There's a couple of things to keep in mind when we think about Chief Justice Roberts's role on the court right now. He holds this role because of the current makeup of the court. Four justices more conservative, four justices more liberal. That could change if President Trump is reelected and he gets to replace more of the justices, more than likely he would be replacing liberal justices. Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg will be 87 on election day. Justice Stephen Breyer will be 82 on election day. And so the next president will have a lot to say about this.